This is the Negro Ninja. And this is going to be part two of the last video, basically saying that hints are a smooth way for women to be socially awkward. I'm going to play the rest of this Reddit video. Okay. Putting on headphones equals I don't want to talk to anyone. Not, have you pulled them off so you can talk to me? First of all, if a chick really wanted to, like if you did the same thing, okay, that's not going to stop her from talking to you. You see how that is? You know, because when a chick wants something, especially when they're unattractive, and you play the games that they playing, they're going to be more aggressive because they're narcissists. Okay. So, another another um way that make this situation stupid is, what if she put on the headphones, but she didn't even notice you the whole time, but really wanted you to talk to her or something? So maybe it was just a coincidence that she put on the headphone, and then we'll get mad that you didn't talk to her. See, that's the stuff I'm talking about right there. It get it get weird. If you say something suggestive that a woman doesn't acknowledge or pretends not to hear, or causes her to subtly change the subject, don't then say it again. What? Do they think that we just went temporarily deaf? You were being given an out. Okay. And once again, play that play that situation with them the same way and see what happens. When they want to know an answer, they're going to vex you. They're going to ask you over and over and over and over. Okay, she might wait and ask you over and over and over. Like I said, a lot of women... This is what narcissists do anyway. That's how people used to ignore me on jobs and stuff, though. But, you know, bitches are the world and words of bitch. That's a very feminine behavior, like the negative type of feminine behavior. Okay, not, you know, not the good feminine and the bad feminine. But like I said, the thing about women is, you know, and that this how, um, this why narcissists succeed in the dating game is because they make a woman want something. They just know how to manipulate. So, therefore, that's why the chick is prone to respond to her games in a more aggressive way. I want to know this answer and just keep asking you in an aggressive way or just keep bombarding you subtly or however she want to do it. Touching you, like your hair or your arm. We don't touch guys we aren't at least attracted to or comfortable with. Edit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like half of you totally ignored the or comfortable with part. Read the situation. If it's a date and she touches you, that is a good sign. If you guys are friends, it probably just means she feels safe with you. Okay, now let's break this down. It's like the dumbest comment I have heard since I started this video. Okay. Read the situation. Okay. This is what leading on. This this what this is what happens when people are led on. Okay, because there have been stories on here. I think that was in the last video where somebody was like, "Yeah, she invited me out for this. I didn't even know it was a date." You see what I'm talking about? So if she touching and all this type of stuff, how would he know when he didn't even know that was a date? Oh, that's just my friend. Okay, she talking like she just gave a. A foolproof explanation. She ain't give shit. But more confusion. Okay. <clears throat> and then you know. This also could be one of them reasons. Why chicks be complaining that dudes try to hit on the first date and stuff. You shouldn't be touching that nigga. Okay. Chicks be doing all types of stuff. Now once again. I forgot to say this in the last one. Okay. Have you not heard women say. I don't care if I'm around a dude naked. He should know how to control himself. So how do you, uh, you know, I bet you $5 you heard a lot of chicks say that throughout your life. Especially if you're my age. I have heard that quite a bit, a, a few times. What dudes, men are this, damn. That lady can't control themselves. Matter of fact, I just commented on a lady's Instagram. Matter of fact, let me read her Instagram. Hold on. The way she said something like that. And, you know, you be hearing feminists talk before you really think about the term. But, okay, she said if a lesbian control themselves, hold on. If lesbians can't control themselves when girls are wearing revealing clothes, but guys can't, maybe the problem is the clothes. And they say stuff like that and then turn around and tell you this shit that I just explained from Reddit. Once again, when you live a life of being a shyster, okay, you can't expect for people to just comprehend you when everything you do is confusing. Okay, continuing. If a woman is in a job where she's serving you, the customer and being friendly, cheerful, smiling and making eye contact with you, she doesn't want to bang you. It's her job to be nice to literally everyone. Okay. 
she say that, but at the same time, hoes be flirting with you at their job. <laughs> okay, because I was thinking this the other day too. Every time I go to um, get me some um, deli slices from Kroger's or Publix. Okay, and I noticed that this chick, hey, would you like a sample of this? I said, let me get like a one pound of this. How's this? You want a sample? I'm like, is this woman flirting with me? <laughs> and that happened a lot. Okay, I'm like, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe this is something that they do. And then I will watch how they do other customers, and I don't see them do that to nobody else. But when it's me, so would you, how's this? You want this sample? You know, just look for excuses to feed me and stuff. So I don't really read too much into it. I just enjoy the situation. Okay, but at the same time, there's still confusion in her saying this. Okay, like I said, if a chick really wants you, she should throw her, you know, not, I wouldn't say throw her stuff at you. Okay, there would just be no confusion. Okay, then let's, let's talk about this right here. Okay, about one of the chicks that always gave me slices of deadly stuff, okay. And she would follow me around the store and stuff, but she was still playing games. Okay, so how does that make sense? It don't make any sense. Okay, so how you gonna give somebody some hints and then turn around and play games, especially when she was off the clock. She was off the clock, she was following me around the store. And I was like, dang, she wanted them short shorts. And I just looked at her, and then she kind of, you know, fly, fly, flew off or something. And then, you know, once I turned my back again, she kind of appeared again on some, um, what's that shit from Super Mario World? It's on some boo ghost shit. Don't make any sense. It's too much confusion for niggas to even engage a fucking hint. Continuing. Multiple times, I've had a guy try to chat with me on public transport, in a waiting room, on an airplane, etc. It's usually places I'm not really interested in having a conversation. So now, let me pause this real quick. Uh -uh. Now, remember, when you're in a relationship, okay, and this was your girl, and she just happens to cheat on you, guess where she's going to find a nigga? That she cheated on. in these places. That she just does not want to have a conversation. This is a workplace. Not a place for dating. Like any time you hear a woman talk shit like that. Or other people talk shit like that. That's where a bitch will find a, the nigga that she cheated on you with. They can pull a nigga out of thin air. Okay. Secondly people have found their wives. Just by talking to them at random like that. So it's clearly a lie. Okay. Remember that whoredom is not only cowardice. It's, it's a life of comfort to a bitch. Okay, basically just doing what she wanted to do. So if she felt like she wanted to do that at that moment, then that's the perfect time to talk to her. Then it'll be, why y'all so scared? You know, y'all should think outside the box. Don't just go to places where women expect the conversations. You know, just learn to be spontaneous. Tell me I'm bullshitting. Continuing. I'll give a short but polite response and turn back to my phone book music. Probably nine times out of ten, they continue to attempt to talk to me. And then once again, if he just gave up, oh, you're just not assertive enough. Like sometimes a woman even do that to dudes that she like and just wanted to chase all day. But once again, that's that power struggle stuff I'm talking about where if a chick is attracted and she's just awkward. But she she just rather you chase her until you wear yourself down. Okay, we know each other long enough. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm too good for that. Suck my penis. Told a guy he could share my sleeping bag while we were watching a meteor shower. Literally said you should zip in with me. It'd be much warmer if we could cuddle together. He said he didn't think there was room and he'd just zip up his jacket. Two years later he asked me why we never hooked up cause he liked me so much and I point to this exact moment. And you know what nigga? That's a moment that you did not really want. You just wanted the orgasm. The bitch is not good for you. Because once again... If she really wanted something, she would just say, you know what? My game was whack. Let me try another time. What did I do about this that was wrong? Okay, once again, that's that hubris coming in. Who the fuck do you think you are? I gave you a hint. And you just turned that down. <laughs> that's that hubris, man, I'm telling you. But, um, like I said, no, um, I only invited you here just to do this. Only to do this, I promise you. Okay, women do some stupid stuff sometimes. Okay. That's why I don't, I don't like it. I don't, like I said, I just think it's crazy to engage in hints unless it's something that's clearly spelled out. And once again, the true purpose of a hint if a woman is not socially awkward is, you know, giving you a cue. Don't want nobody in your business. Only, you know, like an inside joke. 
So it's supposed to be designed to protect against people sabotaging the flow and shit. But they don't do that. They just too, a lot of them are too full of shit to do that or think that way. He remembered it happening and completely missed the hint. Bet your game is garbage. If I'm slowly getting physically away from you, that doesn't mean you should come closer. And me being nice to you doesn't mean I want to f you. If I I'm looking at you, talking to you, laughing, etc. Basically being a normal human being. Don't assume I'm interested solely based on that. Uh-huh. Just like the niggas in the friend zone. And like I said, okay, and when a woman is cheating on you, and if the person that she is cheating on you with is in the same room, or let's just say if a woman is fucking behind your back, the word... Like she giving you sexual attention, but trying to act like she don't do this and that and this. And it turns out she been fucking somebody you knew the whole time, which is still another level of cheating. She just finessing you. Okay. They won't even have no interaction with each other. She like she never even talked to him. Okay. It's just, I'm telling you, man, you can't listen to shit whole thing. Well, a girl once asked if she could kiss me and I thought she meant to peck on the cheek. Doesn't help that I was a young 19 year old and she 24 so naturally I went from attractive to bearded child in less than 3 seconds. And whose fault is that? Once again, negros be gaslighting themselves because hoes don't got game. Okay, it's crazy. Okay, could I kiss you? I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. Just a chick just tell you that out of blue. Bitch, if you want to do it, you just do it. Okay, what type of junk is that? It just, it's stupid. Let a man just tell a bitch, can I kiss you? Okay, you know, it's crazy. Woman. Do I know you? Oh, you know, we're just friends. You know, they'll probably do something. I can just picture them doing something like nothing. Invited me to spend the night in her bed multiple times in one night. I spent the night in my own, partly because I thought she was kidding around. She was not. And once again, not only was she not kidding around, but most likely, how did she ask that question? You have to say what the hell you want to say. Okay, because once again, a lot of reasons why dudes get in trouble is that him and the woman don't be on the same page. Mixed signals. You're giving me mixed signals. Sweetie, you gave me mixed signals. Okay, and I think women do that type of stuff on purpose because mis mixed signals is essentially drama. And you already know how hoes get off on drama. Okay, they like drama more than they like, you know, happiness, it seems. Okay, but if she just flat out said she wants the dick, that makes sense. Okay, and once again, even that's still kind of scary sometimes. Because you don't know if it's a game or not. So, like I said, chicks move completely different when they really want something to happen. You know, like women, you know, are supposed to escalate the shit. Okay, and it just happens. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's a lot of stuff to think about. It's a lot of concern. You know, I heard a lot of dudes flat out tell me, you know what? It's just too scared to deal with these hoes because of all this Me Too shit. Or they have been in situations where a chick wrongfully accused them or something. And like I said, I can't blame niggas for this shit. So all that hint shit is the way of the dodo at this point. In these, well, at least it needs to be. Show a bitch this video. Okay, if you don't know her, just let her hear it one time. Okay, get her opinion on it. Act like you don't even like who I am. Like, who is this person right here? What you think of this person? That'd be a nice hint for this bitch, won't it? Okay. Oops. One time I was in a video game store and a woman was searching for a game she seemed really excited to play. I, having already played that game, got excited for her, found the game, handed it to her and started to explain how I thought she was really going to like it. Her mood then seemed to turn as she said my husband and I are really going to enjoy playing it together. My mood then frustrated that she thought I was hitting on her lifted my left hand to show my wedding ring. Then I said yeah, my wife and I enjoyed it too. She then got bright red and apologized for assuming I was trying to hit on her when I just really liked a video game. Do you see the stress in that situation? And then they telling you, saying all this stuff they were saying earlier. Okay. That's why, that's why I just be like, look, fuck the bait. Don't take no bait from these. You can't trust shit a hoe give you. Okay. <laughs> when she's just dangling it out there. You just don't know. 
Okay, because they constantly walking around in a backward state of mind anyway. Okay. I'm telling you, man. That's one of the main reasons why I don't really like talking to women about nothing unless it's sex talk. We on the same page then. You come to me talking sexual, I'm talking sexual back. Okay. It's just that simple. Less confusion, no arguments. I don't think I ever got into an argument talking to a bitch sexually. And you see that this happened. They basically had like a, a battle for just talking about a video game. This shit here is crazy. And once again, why did this happen? Because this bitch is awkward. Okay. Had a chick compliment my eyes, saying that my work shirt... Nah, wait, wait. And you know why she thought that nigga was coming on to her? Because she found that nigga attractive. Like I said, when you are hot and all this type of stuff as a dude, that's when women just get... They, they act stupid when they're awkward. You know, when a woman is awkward, nobody wins. If you awkward, you lose by your damn self. Which is a read. I had a chick compliment my, compliment my eyes, saying that my work sh shirt made them pop, which is a reach. Notices and compliments my haircut. Was curious about my interests. Said out loud, well, if I knew you didn't have a Halloween party to go to, I would have invited you to me and my friends. And that don't even mean shit. Like I'm saying, like sometimes hoes just be talking and it don't really mean nothing. But that's a hint that you should have got. You didn't get the hint. Oh, <laughs> they stupid. Keep in mind that to her, I'm basically a random dude she knows nothing about. Turns out she has someone. So did I misinterpret these signs? Then, then I just tell you that. Did then, then I just say this shit? I I just said this. Okay. And this. Let me see. I don't remember watching this one. Well, I probably played when I wasn't looking because I don't remember that story. But um, cause that's the stuff I'm talking about right there. So therefore, anybody in your circle that just, hey, man, talk to her. These are niggas you should not be around because you'll get into a lot of trouble. Alternatively, for women, if a guy doesn't pick up on two or three hints, just tell him what you want. If it's really what you want, they're nothing to lose. Plus, confidence is a great turn on. Some men ignore hints by fear of rejection. Okay. And like I said, sometimes I actually understand the hits, but I just don't play into the shit. I'm like, let me give me no hint, bitch. You know, I just find it like condescending. Like I said, unless it makes sense to where I figure, oh, she's just trying to make sure nobody understands what she is saying and she's trying to make something happen you know right here you know you know like i'm saying like if i if a whole hinting let's do something in the back what just sneak out in front of everybody don't nobody know where yet she's gonna suck your dick behind the thing that'll make sense then but i'm pretty sure she'll comp she would communicate that to you to where it's not a hint and it's just something that y'all you know she communicating that to you well telling you what to do like this is a mission or something like i said hints are very condescending in my opinion it's just they talking, they don't even do dogs like that. So that's disrespectful. I once kept resting my hand on a guy's leg and asking if he'd be interested in going for food, movie. He thought I was unbalanced and just kept using his thigh to steady myself and invited other friends to dinner and movies. We've been together for three or four years now and he still thinks he made the first move. I and she still didn't tell him, what a bitch. I'm pretty sure that ain't gonna last. And if it does last... I'm pretty sure it's not as good. He just tolerating it. Like I said, you a grown ass motherfucking woman. Okay, they don't want to act like a. They want to, and that's what's funny right there. Now y'all should not want to date women that's younger. But you act like a child. Okay, I would even go as far as to say younger women, um, would probably be more bold than that. That's just my theory. Okay, well, actually, when they begin fresh, though, they do be seeming to be bold, though. They be bold as shit when they fresh with a, with a Negro. But, um, you acting like a child, bitch. Once made an excuse to touch my crush's hair, gave him my phone number, laughed at all of his jokes, gave him a laptop, and he still had no idea. He finally figured it out when I called him a bitch. I'll... You know what? There's a story on Reddit that sounds similar to this. Except the shoe was on the other foot. Okay, and I'm, I'm a, I hope I can find that story. I got so much shit to talk about. But, you know, 
it was a dude basically letting a girl borrow his PlayStation 2 and whatever she needed or whatever and helped her out with some stuff. And this dude basically said that he stopped fucking with her because of how she did that dude. He clearly loves you. She said, I know. You know, so I'm, I might have to find it one day. One year wedding anniversary is in June. New Year's night, a random girl was hanging out with me the whole night talking and drinking. We had a lot of fun talking about random and deep stuff. After the party, she asked me if I wanted to drink a coffee with, with her at her place. She, wanna come in and drink a coffee? Me, nah I don't drink that much coffee and it's really late so. She, smiling no problem maybe a hot chocolate. Me, oh no thanks too much sugar and stuff. She, okay then. Have good night, call me if you feel like it, bye. Why, I remember this. Later, this message came up on my phone. I'm drunk and horny as hell and you could have had nasty sex with me at any point this night. I dropped so many hints. Touched you and even invited you to my place, but you were a real gentleman. And she's getting sexually frustrated when that was her fault? When a dude will find out being, hey, I, you know, I'm just trying to lay my dick on your forehead. What you doing later on tonight? You know, like I said, when you bold to a chick, they just think the shit is funny. Oh, you just. <laughs> but they want to act like they don't understand nothing, but they cannot communicate what they want and get mad when dudes are oblivious. That's the dumbest thing. Like these bitches are retarded. They are a headache. OK. And she could have just flat out said, you know what? You didn't get my hints. You know, but maybe you'll understand it if I flat out said, come over here. She took the time just to argue. What a bitch. You're so nice. Me. F cries. Once again, he cries. I'm telling you, man. Fuck, fuck. Hinting, hinting ass bitches. Okay. Bitch ain't worth two skeets. And that's all I got to say for this rant. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today. Negro out.